Hi, my name is Josh Lawton and I'm a Senior Delivery Consultant with Rolta Advisex. Today we'll be talking about how Aruba ClearPass and Aruba Wireless can be used to consolidate the number of 8021X wireless networks in an environment. This can be done using device profiling as well as role-based access. In today's modern wireless environment, we see a lot of different networks being broadcast for different device types. So you may have a device specifically for voice over IP phones and a separate one for computers. And you may have different SSIDs for access control groups. So there may be a group for accounting, a separate SSID for HR, and even yet another for default users. So this can be a lot of overhead to manage and very confusing for the end users on where to connect their devices. So first let's look at role-based access. On the Aruba wireless controllers, we have the ability to assign user roles uh, to end devices. This can be done to assign a VLAN to a particular device or control access for that device. So we may have a user role for accounting, a separate one for HR, one for voice phones, and one for PCs. Now, we can use ClearPass to assign these roles to the end user. So, when a device performs an 8021X authentication to ClearPass, we can retrieve these attributes by simply having the Active Directory as the authorization source in ClearPass. So once this device performs its authentication, we can see what department the device user is in. And based on that, we can assign an accounting user into the accounting role and the HR user into the HR role. Now let's look at de how device profiling can be used to assign users into roles. In order to profile a device, we need to have DHCP requests sent from the device to ClearPass. By default, when a user obtains an address, it performs a DHCP request, which is sent to the default gateway and using an IP helper is then redirected to the DHCP server. For our use, we'll actually add a second DHCP helper that points towards ClearPass, and this allows ClearPass to obtain the same information and profile the device. The issue comes in when the 8021X authentication is performed prior to the DHCP request. So what we need to do is have a initial role or a limited access role that only allows the DHCP function to occur. So on initial authentication, we assign the device into the limited access role and then we disconnect the device using a RADIUS COA or change of authorization. At this point, the device authenticates again, is properly profiled by the ClearPass server, and is then assigned into the voice role. Meanwhile, the computer performing the same steps will now be assigned into the PC role. This allows all the devices to connect to a single SSID while maintaining their VLAN assignments and access control groups. Thanks for watching.